Hey guys, welcome to This Thing's Got Problems. I'm Eric, and the thing that has problems today is that C10 right there. Not so much that side, but it's, it's the passenger side. So metal work is done on the driver's side, and I'm going to show you step by step how I can screw up the other side, not do it anywhere near right, and uh, make a bunch of people on the internet mad at what I'm doing, I guess. Probably. All right, I'm going to spin this around. It's going to be a process. All right. This, this should work out fine. I don't know. It's never been the other direction. I don't know if I got enough. Well, let's see how it goes. Let's see if I can knock it off the dolly and onto my legs. Maybe, maybe not. I really don't want to roll outside the garage. There's like a, you know, one of those. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I forgot how. Oh, Jesus. I forgot how bad this site is. It's not great to look at. Is, nope. Where are we going? Are we going this way? Are you just deciding where we're going? Uh-huh. All right. Whoop. Okay. Wasn't that bad. All right, so let's uh, let's take a look. Outer rocker shot. Um, inner rocker is non-existent because the last guy that owned this, as I said in previous videos, was going to redo it, and then uh, you know just didn't. Stuff like that happens. So that's cut out, which is not good for getting measurements. But what is good is this. This is not good, but it's good that this is here because, which I didn't have the opportunity on the other side to do. The, when you buy these aftermarket, they're not anywhere near, right? The holes are in the wrong spot. This is kind of big, I guess. So when you screw up, you can drill the hole bigger. Whatever. But I can get... A measurement of from here to a spot where I know there's solid metal I'm not going to cut away I guess for height 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 um, you know from up here and then this way I guess along here so when I cut this out because it's all I mean right here is destroyed I'm not sure how much of this would survive maybe some wood I don't know let's take it apart and see first but if it has to go, I'll at least know where to put it back. Whereas the other side, it was, I basically kind of measured off of this and then transferred it to there. And I'm looking at the floor here. The other side, this was all kind of destroyed. This was cut out. And I'm going to have to cut this to gain access to that support that's rotted. And it looks like someone was focused here was kind of trying to air hammer this out because that's destroyed too. So we'll have to figure that out. Um, but the floor seems kind of better on this side. And so does the uh, the uh, the corner. I mean, that's that was probably us moving it, honestly. So it smooshed it there. But this is way more gooder than the other side was. I guess I'm just kind of thinking out loud right now. I might not need that big piece. I might be able to just make some stuff. Now we're looking right here. 
this doesn't go nearly as high as the other side did. And you can see over there, yeah, there's gaps. We're, I'm going to seam seal the hell out of it. We're running carpet. We're running, you know, I don't care what it looks like. There's a little smush stuff in there. But you see how high I had to go because that's how rotted that was. Over here, it just kind of reinforces that this was, you know, a work truck by one guy that, you know, in and out over there, you know, kicking your boots in your mud. Southern truck, Missouri, I believe. Uh, you know, way more than anyone was on this side beating it up. So this is all pretty typical of C10s of this generation and the generation before it and kind of the generation after it and, and S10s and, you know, everything. Well, everything, everything needs a cab corner eventually. And, you know, your rockers and <sighs> all right, guess I'm going to start cutting and, uh, all this out. Drilling, cutting. Is that alive? I, mm. I'm going to despider this first, honestly, because this side, it's like a habitat now. So, what I learned from the first time is that. Lining doors is a nightmare. And this is probably all going to move anyway. And I think, you know, aligning that door and why it had to be shimmed out is probably because it did get tweaked while we moved it and all this was cut away. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And it probably wasn't going to be, you know, where the door wanted to be originally anyway. But this well, it doesn't look like it's ever been off. So, I'm going to take this time to help future Eric and at least get it, at least get these where it's not going to do anything for this, but at least get these close. They're probably not. That's probably not going to work anymore. Anyways, uh, yeah, just mark it with, uh, you know, what color is this? Why is nothing coming out of here? I've been shaking. What is going on? I just want a little color. Just give me a little, just, and then when I go and put this back on, you just line everything up with, you know, this might get cut out. We don't know, but, you know, it might help. Sure, why not? I don't know why I'm trying to make it look nice. I just need lines. And circles. And it's dripping. Is this like... This is weird paint. It's like a candy... No drips. No runs. I just disproved that. Anyways, yeah, it seems transparent. Like it's a clear color. I don't know what I'm talking about. <coughs> Hi. Alright, so... That's what I was talking about before. I want this whole to stay where close enough to where it is right now and uh that's where your fender uh bolts up so i'm going to take this time yeah because this is i shouldn't i don't think i should be able to pass that right through so the back of that is gone so this will have to get replaced in some kind of way so i want to make sure i know where this is and to be able to put the new hole back to you know where where this is before I start chopping and drilling and cutting. So I'm going to just take some measurements and uh, uh, probably from somewhere safe where it will not get cut or primed or painted or something like that. So I'm thinking up here somewhere. I could just make a line literally anywhere. I could just, right? I could just say, you know, your center and just go up to whatever even number and then you don't even have to measure really just you know there to there and then you know where this is right there up to up to there maybe i can put like a you know, like a t-square or something i put something on there right sure it seems like a plan
got an idea. Which has never really worked out for me before, but all right, so get that. So I got it's about halfway up the hole. And I mean I'm not getting precise about this. Let's face it. If it's not in the right spot when I'm all done, I'm gonna smack it really hard with a hammer till it is because patina truck. So now I have something, you know, to come out to here with. Right? So I'm just gonna pick what's a nice even 20? Sure. I don't know. Let's go 20 inches. Which would and that what's kind of cool is this it lines, you know, the tape measure. Can you see? This lines right up with the edge. So if I just follow the edge, I should remember that in, you know, 28 weeks when I'm done with this. Just plumb bob it. You know, just let it let it bob and plumb to where that is and that's your halfway point for the hole and just probably yep poor camera positioning eric just up there right just just mark the top there i'm gonna what if i sit you way back ah yeah there we are i'm just doing that's it literally and just to so i remember I'm just going to go down the side to indicate, you know, stick the tape measure there, which I should remember. But there's been a lot of fumes and brain damage over the years. Twenty. On center. Sure, I should remember that. I don't know. Certainly going to be better than what I did over there. That was a hot mess. I will be shocked if any of it lines up. Just being honest. It seemed fine. I actually, I hung the fender, kind of. It, it seemed okay. And a little close up. So when I put this back on, all this metal here, I'm going to want the center of the hole ish. You know, where I got this line, and that was just so I had something to move the tape measure to. Go up here. I want it, you know. 20 inches, the center of the hole. And then, I mean, the tape measure lined up kind of perfect with that, just doing what I did. So, there we are. Okay, let's move on to how far this thing sticks out from, you know, woo! That's a that's terrible, terrible camera work, Eric. To, you know, um, I don't, probably up here, this seems, there we go. Probably up here, this seems safe. Maybe top of the hinge. Because I don't think there's rust past this point. And I don't want to dig into that anyway, where, you know, your threads are. So I'm definitely staying below that if I have to, which I'm pretty sure I do, replace all that rotted out crap in there. So as I'm doing another another uh, trick here where I'm going to line up, you know, lefty-righty? That's what I'm going to call that measurement, the lefty-righty of where the fender hole should be. I mean, what do you guys do with your bullet holes? Do you... Why does every truck from the south have freaking bullet holes in the floor? My brother's F100 did. Uh, I think still does. No, it doesn't. He swapped the cab. But there's like bullet holes there. This is one. There's one over here too. A way more impressive one, actually. What are you what are you doing? Why are you shooting your floors out? Why? What is what? I don't I gotta fix that. I can't. I can't leave that. It's not even for, it's not even for drainage. It would be under here. Why? You, right from my lefty righty, uh, right here. I want that the outside to be in the same spot when you know the new one goes on. And it's again, you know, these aftermarket parts are not perfect. In fact, I have not seen a good. A lower pillar replacement yet they're all pretty shoddy not great so they take some you know take a little bit of hitting to get them in the right spot but what I'm gonna do is we want the outside of this so I got this clamped on here and I can't lose this tool until the job is done because this is gonna be this is what I'm using if it's straight great if it's not probably isn't because it's harbor freight I'm still gonna have to use this because I'm just gonna draw right here 
and that would be so the outside so you want the inside to be i'm gonna mark that as the top again because that's i mean i put it in the center of the hole so it's just an additional you know here's where the center of the hole should be to go with the other measurement and we're just gonna do that so i want to clamp it back on you just you know right there and make sure that's close and again if i'm not 100 percent right you know it's it's hammer time i mean the fender will go on one way or another i'm gonna poke my eye out with that thing i just realized how close that is no well, there's our finished you know it's not straight i'm not sure this is because you know we moved it we ratchet strapped it to a car trailer and you know it's already it's you can hear crunching. It's not. I'm sure it got bent. So we just we're trying to get in the ballpark. All right. Because I don't want to have to guess like over there and then take measurements from I was like under the the frame or not the frame, but the uh, the floor support. I was measuring, you know, from that to this and then just hoping it's like that on that side, too. And we'll find out. Hi. So we're uh, we're under the cab, and um, that isn't stock, and it's not good over there. It's it's worse here. Um, I found some inner rocker, so that's nice. It, the story is even worse, or way in in the back. So that's not great. I think the whole thing's got to come out, honestly, which I, the other side, over there, I only had to like, you know, and then I just went off the rest. And my head weighs un enough. Um, so it looks like I have to dig this whole thing out, which means I got to cut floor out. And I definitely have to get that body mount off, which is rotted to absolute hell. That's great. Um, mm -hmm. The good thing is it looks like the rail that goes to the back is actually really good. So it must have just been like, oh, collects mud or whatever. And this truck, actually, it wasn't a salt thing. It was a uh, southern, southern truck. So this is definitely, you know, farm mud. Gets up in places and takes things out. Do I have any more bullet holes? Just the... Uh, what the hell did that? No, that's okay. That's not a bullet hole. Jeez. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to crawl out from under here and uh, just look at that side, actually. That's nice because it's all new. <sighs> well, I know what I need. Um, I don't know what I got. When I was ordering for the driver's side, Occasionally, I would just say, you know, I just give me the passenger side too because you see, like it says low stock. It's like, well, buy it now and then we'll evaluate later. So, I do have some parts here from Auto Metal Direct and I can't remember what they were. So, we're going to find out together, right? Cool. We have this guy it goes down here in case it's all this will be, this will be deleted. Promise. So definitely needed that. Needed. Most we got. Oh, I got. Which one's which? This is this is what we were just looking at. See, this is what it looks like without holes in it. You know, it's got it's got a hole, <laughs> a hole, and um, that's it. That's is that that might be. Mm -hmm. Confirm that is the front body mount bolt goes through it, which is good because that's it's measurement. It's a point of reference you can use to make sure everything's where it should be. So those things we just did make sense enough. Here's your rear, and I can promise you by looking back there, it's it's dust. It is what's left of it. You know, is 
not great. So I might have to replace the whole thing too. What I was going to do is a little prep, like I did up front. I was going to see, you know, if I... That said, I was able to save some. Like, about there. Because that was all really good. That was bad. I was going to try to figure out, because that pain in the ass was getting the angle right, you know, so you can slip it in there. I was going to try to figure that out before we started cutting, but now I realize I just need the whole banged old thing. So, good. But I have bolt supports. I have this pillar. Man, I really thought I bought the other one, but I guess not. So I'm going to have to get this. I got to get a rocker. And I might just get away with an inner rocker instead of doing the floor extension they sell, which is really nice if you need it. Highly recommend uh, 67 through 72 C10. Guys, if you got some rock going up the floor, I mean, it is it is really good and it is worth, I think it was like, it could have been more than 130 bucks. I, th I it's worth the 130 bucks. It saves you a lot of work. So what I need, need a kick panel maybe. See, that's the thing too. I got to get this rocker off. So maybe we'll do that before I close this episode out. There's just going to be the prep portion of what we're doing here before you start ordering parts. You know, figure out what you need first. What people just buy things without really knowing what they need. I used to have scrapers and stuff. I don't know where they went. So what happens when you have multiple toolboxes in multiple locations because your job is also the thing that you do as a hobby. So let's just get all this old school seam sealer off. Which is not hard. You're not supposed to hit these with hammers. What the tool guys always like, how did that happen? And I always say, I don't know. I just came in that morning and my screwdriver was bent. I don't know what happened, but it's your job to replace it, feller. I keep using feller. I'm watching way too much Vice Grip Garage. It just comes out now. It's weird. All right. This stuff has definitely lived out its life. It's just falling off at this point. So, while this might be exciting to you and all, I doubt it is to everyone. So, I'm just going to... I'm going to get all this crap off and then meet you back here in a few minutes. Cool. Hmm. Just getting all this scraped out of there so you can... See what's what. Bad is this. Yeah. Looks like there might be some spot welds left. Plug welds? Spot welds? Plug welds. That's pretty loose there. Hmm. Mm hmm. So, this will take a little bit of... That's loose. That, I don't know, that's just held on with hopes and dreams. Alright, so we're going to get that crap scraped out. And then we have to find the welds and we'll drill them out. I know there's one there. You kind of sit back and you can kind of just see the little roundness to it. There's some down here. That looks like one probably. That, you know, good freaking luck trying to find that. Uh, there's probably some in here. So, we'll take a look around. I'll just start drilling stuff. We'll see what's underneath. And uh, where we go from here. for the spray paint um you know you can see you know if something was a little off center if it was tilted where where this kind of wanted to be 
it should, you know, get us close. That is, of course, you know, as long as the cab is still where it's supposed to be when, when I'm done. I'm going to start taking out these welds. Um, safety, don't be stupid. You want to be able to see these projects when you're done, all right? And believe me, there's enough crap that falls off of these rusty-ass things that we work on and flies back up the hell was that Ugh. um what was i saying i don't know, protect your eyes or something that bug freaked me out all right all right got all the things going on in the head microphone it looked like a borg now right anywho's this these are awesome you can get these from harbor freight for uh i don't know 20 bucks something like that it, you know and then takes out the whole thing and then just pops right off it's pretty awesome do not i like to pre-drill a little bit because otherwise you're fighting a spring and we're taking all this out anyway i just kind of like to do it surgically know exactly where things should go um do not get their freaking discount drill bits they look like what's in here uh, and they say like titanium they must spell it with like different amount of t's or something because it's I, I've snapped them just staring at them. Just like if you look at them hard enough, they just break out of fear. Do not use those things. They are dangerous as hell. A few of them, I don't know where they are. They're deeply embedded in the side of my garage somewhere. I don't, I've never seen them again. They're ting, gone. So if I wasn't wearing those, uh, yeah, one of them, that one of them would have ended up badly, I think, because of where it hit and how it hit. So do not get those. Spend the money on the drill bits. But this thing, this is fine. I'm going to get back to work now. No, I'm not going to change this with everyone. I'm just showing you guys what this looks like and how this works before I do the rest. This is, you're not going to, you don't want to see that. It's, you, you want to see how one goes and then just keep going yourself. You don't want to watch a guy just drill holes. Spray a little lube on there. If I had something to pry, but oh, I do. Well, kind of. Not that well. I'm just trying to knock, knock the camera over. You're in the way, honestly, because I want to, you know, throw an elbow that way. Anyway, you can, you can, there we go. See? That's, see what that does? Are, are you looking? You see? You, right there. Just pay attention. Bill, you in the back. Are you watching? See, that's how you get rid of these things. Now find every single freaking one of them and just keep on going until your day's gone and you feel like drinking and smoking a cigar. Okay? All right. That's how I'm going to do it. So that kind of helps you identify where the welds are. It's not perfect, but, you know, it, the rust stays because it's, you know, sunk in a little bit. Oh, it feels like there's one there, too. So this is, this is what I'm doing. Just find your little welds and drill it out. And then you get this. And you just go until the bitch comes off. That's about it. I think this is where I'm going to call it because it feels like it's bourbon 30. Guys, thanks so much for subscribing. That's been pretty awesome. Um, thanks for liking the videos and hitting the little bell thing, although I'm still not really sure where or how it works, but it's, it's around somewhere on there. You just, I don't, where is it? Anywho's. Uh, we got a car show going to tomorrow, 
I'm going to bring you some stuff from that. What's happening? What's falling down? I don't know. Uh, pre-72 is all that's allowed. Got a 73-something there, guy? Nope. Sorry. Too new. Not for this show. Not for you guys. No, you're going to have to leave. That's how it is. So that should be cool. It's in Byron, Illinois. I'm going to you know, take some photos and do some video stuff, I think, and I'll show you that. And uh, we'll be back from this, uh, this sucker back here next week. So I've uh, got little quick tips coming out, a couple motorcycle things for you Harley guys, and uh, yeah, that should do it. Talk to you next time.